Hey everyone, it's Carlos. I am here at Orlando International Airport right now, and I am at one of the disaster resources centers that has been opened in Florida. There are three disaster relief centers in Florida right now to help those Puerto Ricans and other uh, folks from the Caribbean who were displaced by one of the many hurricanes. So basically they are open from 9 a.m. until 7 p.m. We're down here on the first level, level one of Orlando International Airport. Uh, it's in Terminal A and we're actually right near the Mears counter. The Mears counter is right behind us. Uh, and actually not too long ago uh, there was a flight that just arrived here in Orlando from San Juan, Puerto Rico. Uh, and we want to make sure that people know that they can come here and they can get assistance from a lot of different organizations that are here to help them. There's about 24 different state agencies and not-for-profit organizations that are here to help. You see there's a big welcome sign right here from the governor and from Mayor uh, Buddy Dyer. Uh, and the folks that are here to help are social workers. There's people here from Orange County Public Schools from City Year uh, who are going to help make sure that students can be uh, enrolled in K-12 through public schools immediately and we can get them the, ed the education that they need as soon as they arrive um, from the island. There's uh, many, many different agencies that are here, and I just kind of want to walk you through some of the different resources that are available here at Orlando International Airport for those Puerto Ricans who are arriving. You've got Latino Leadership is here, uh, helping get folks connected to many different social programs that are very important. You've got the, the VA uh, is here, represented for those uh, veterans who are arriving here from the mainland. We also have uh, United Way of Florida is here and I was having a conversation with United Way earlier. They are helping get folks uh, assistance with booking hotel rooms if they need accommodations and they need housing. Again, that's folks that are coming from Puerto Rico or any other part of the Caribbean that was uh, impacted by uh, any of the two hurricanes. You can come here and you can get a voucher from United Way to help with uh, accommodations. They also have uh, some transportation vouchers here as well. Uh, they are offering a $25 uh, Uber uh, voucher for folks to get transportation here from the airport to whatever their destination is. Um, we also have it uh, looks like we have the uh, Hispanic Family Counseling Center is here. We know that a lot of folks uh, who survived the hurricane uh, and have been displaced as a result of this disaster obviously have experienced trauma. Many of them may need counseling by a culturally competent organization. That's why the Hispanic Family Counseling Center is here. They have uh, bilingual uh, social workers and counselors who are here to assist folks as soon as they arrive. Uh, we also have uh, the Salvation Army is here. We have uh, folks uh, are set up here from Lynx. Lynx is actually going to be offering a, a 30 day bus pass to help folks uh, with transportation if they're here in the Orlando area, if they're going to be relocating to another area of the state outside of Orlando, uh, they can do that. But right now, at least Lynx is here to help them with Orlando-based transportation. That's about a 30-day uh, pass that they can uh, have here, which is being given away uh, free of charge. We also have FEMA uh, is here to help process uh, requests for assistance under uh, the FEMA federal program. And also we have the Department of Children and Families is here helping process applications for folks who need assistance with uh, Medicaid, who need assistance with uh, food stamps and things of that nature. What we're finding out, I've been talking to a lot of these social workers who are here on the ground at this resource center, is that folks are arriving from Puerto Rico and from the Caribbean and they don't have any money. They don't have health care. They don't have housing uh, and they are looking for what help they can get so that they can resettle very quickly. Uh, unfortunately, there have been 
not very many housing options. There's only one shelter right now that's been established in Osceola County. I understand that Orange County uh, is in the process of uh, establishing a center, but really uh, we need more help with being able to offer more affordable housing <laughs> options. Uh, those options are limited. Most people are coming off the plane uh, and they are going to be staying with family members. They're going to be staying with friends uh, and we certainly need a much better plan when it comes to affordable housing. Right here a lot of the uh, workers and volunteers have been keeping track of all of the different flights that are arriving in Orlando International Airport from the various uh, spots, mostly from Puerto Rico. You see that uh, a JetBlue flight just arrived here uh, at Orlando International Airport less than an hour ago at 11.30 a.m. So you see there's been an influx uh, of folks who are coming in they're literally just got off the plane from San Juan, Puerto Rico, uh, and they're looking for assistance. So I just wanted to make sure that folks knew that this uh, resource center, this DRC, the Disaster Resource Center, is here. We are down on the first floor of Orlando International Airport in Terminal A. And we have folks who are here that are ready to help them, who are bilingual, hablan español, están aquí para ayudar a toda la gente que viene de Puerto Rico, from the Caribbean, uh, and they're here to help. Orlando welcomes you, Florida welcomes you. There are resources here, and we encourage you to come to this disaster resource center. That's anyone that's gonna be here in the Orlando area displaced by the hurricane in the Caribbean or in Puerto Rico. They're open 8 a.m. until 7 p.m. every single day. They're gonna be here as long as they need to be here and we wanna make sure that folks have the assistance that they need. So come here to Orlando International Airport Terminal A, level one next to the mirrors counter, uh, and there are various state agencies and organizations who are here to be able to help give folks uh, the assistance that they need when they arrive.